Hey, what's up, guys? As the title says, I'm going to show you how I play the song Crazy. Now, please understand, this is not how the original is played. This is not how anybody else plays it. This is just how I play the song. I am not a classically trained musician. I taught myself basically everything that I know. So if you are a classically trained musician, you might see some issues with this, and it just is what it is, all right? All I can do is teach you what I know. So... Anyway, the song Crazy by Gnarls Barkley. Uh, if, you can, if you want to, you can see my rendition of the song. There'll be a link in the description. And also, there should be a little thing that pops up in the corner, one of these corners. So you can check that out so you can see what it is that we're actually doing here. Anyway, now to the song. So it's a pretty basic setup for most of the song. Um, it starts out with an E minor chord. And I remember when, I remember when I lost my mind. Then it goes to a G. And I play these all bar chords. There was some so pleasant about that face. And then it slides up here to a C, I believe. Even your motions had an echo. So much space. Goes down to a B. I believe that's what it's doing here. Yeah going from a C to a B. So that's pretty much the chord progression. It goes E minor, G, C, to a B. That's the chord progression for the first verse, the first chorus, and all of the subsequent choruses. Uh, I play them all bar chords. Um, I guess you could play them all here. And then you go. And then all, the only bar chord you have to mess with is a B. Um, but I just play them all um, up here with bar chords, just how I've always played it. Now, the only variation is that when you get to verse 2 and the start of verse 3, again, this is how I play the song, um, that progression changes for the first half of the verse. So instead of going E minor, it goes to a straight E. So we're going to throw that last finger down here, take it from an E minor to an E. And that's for the first lines of the uh, second verse. It goes E. I hope that you are having the time of your... And then it goes up to that C. Um, life. And then it goes back to that G. But things twice. Then up to the B. Only advice. So it's just for that first line. So come, you're coming out of that chorus and you go to... And I hope that you are having the time of your life. Let's see. And then the G, think twice. Ooh, yeah, there's my only advice. Up to that B. So that's, and then it goes back to, um, come on now, who do you? To that E minor, who do you, who do you, who do you think you are? To that G. Well, ha, 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 bless your soul. Up to the C. You think you're in control. And down to that B. Okay, so that's the progression. It just kind of makes that circle. So verse one, it's the same. E minor, G, C, B. Just does that twice. Then you do the chorus, which is the same chord progression. Verse two, first, first half of verse two is that E, C, G, B, instead of E minor. So that's basically the only change in this song. Now, how I strum the song, again, a little different. I don't play the exact same tempo. Um, because I changed it up. I just I have a little different version of the song. Um, so how I strum the song is, um, is. It's really kind of a, kind of a Jack Johnson-y vibe. I'm really hanging out mostly on these top three or four, um, top three or four strings. I don't really doing a ton down there, except maybe when I get to the chorus, I'm, I'm hitting more of the strings. But it's really just a... So I'm just hanging out here in this, this little vibe. Again, this is how I play the song, because it's, it's just a fun way for me to play it and sing it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's how I play the song. Like I said, this is not how the original is played. Also, I play it on capo two. If you, you're watching, you notice it's on capo two. So all of those chords that I that I said um, were were how those chords uh, are played. That's what they would look like 
um, with capo two on. So the E minor is is actually a, like an F sharp minor, um, but it's all in relation to the capo. So if you take capo off, it's still E, G, uh, C, B, but it just wouldn't be those exact chords, right? It's just with the capo. So I play it with capo too. Um, you'll figure something out if you watch any of these videos. I try to play the easiest way possible. I do not want to have to think too much about how I play these songs because I want to be able to sing these songs and have fun and perform these songs. So I'm not trying to make it super complicated um, because I just want to be able to play it and have a good time and, and jam. So uh, that's the song that is Crazy by Gnarls Barkley, my version. Uh, hopefully this helps. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them. If you are a classically trained musician and this made you sick to your stomach, um, I would suggest you make your own video showing people how to play this song and then tell everybody to go watch it. <laughs> but if you just wanted to learn how to play a song, just want to learn how to jam and have a good time, that's all I'm here for is just try to help you out with that. So anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.